Hi, good morning. Finally got my butt out of bed this morning. It's Monday. Time to get back to the old walking and the workout. Let's see, last week I finished my 85 hour fast. I did really well. I thought I was, actually I was doing really well. I did not even want to stop. I wanted to continue. But I knew I had uh, St. Patty's Day and some stuff going on. So broke my fast, enjoyed my weekend. I uh, did not overdo it, but I did uh, enjoy myself. And then now we are back to the grind. The goal for this week is to get myself back into keto. So back to eating uh, eggs and sauerkraut for breakfast, having uh, carnivore and stuff for dinner, hydrating myself with my electrolyte, with my snake juice, and just getting myself back into keto because next week, is uh, a goal to do another fast again. So I want to get myself back into keto. I want to work hard this week. I want to get the, get the X3, just get it just going heavy. And then uh, the next week during the, the fasting, I'm gonna try a, a longer fast next week. And I'm gonna try just a plain water fast, nothing but water and tea on the next fast. I can feel that I've lost some in my stomach area I actually felt real good. I felt fantastic while I was fasting. So that was good. Right now, we're gonna get our walk on, we're gonna get a sweat going, we're gonna get home and get our workout on. We're doing pulls today. Uh, we finished up last week. We did not get our pulls done at the end of the week, so we're gonna start this week doing pulls and uh, work that way. So starting off with pulls, after we're done with the walk, see when we get back. All right, good morning, we made it back from our walk. The sun is up, it's still chilly out, and we got a little sweat going, so we're gonna keep our one of our hoodies on. We're gonna get our workout on. We're doing pulls today, and we're starting out with pulls because we didn't finish with pulls last week. I kind of took a three-day break, let my body rest. It's really funny, is during the week when I'm working out, it's, it's, I'm thinking a lot about keeping in shape and my diet and, and, and all that stuff, and I'm really concentrating on that. On the days when I take days off, I don't even think about any of that stuff anymore. I try and just let my brain just go off and forget about it. So after I finished my fast and St. Patty's Day showed up, it was going out having some fun, drinking some beer, having some corned beef. The weekend, we went out for sushi. We had other stuff. I didn't go too overboard because that's not what I'm doing, but I wasn't so concerned about keeping within the parameters of my diet, at least on the weekend but now we're back to working out, we're back to the schedule. So we're keeping within the parameters of the diet and we're getting our workout on. So we got pulls coming up, let's go. Now we're gonna start out with the black band, 15, slow, deadlift, get the body woken up, get the muscles ready to go. Fifty on the black man. 
get things stretched, warmed up, get the yellow band set up, and let's go. All right, with the yellow band, we're gonna use the grips, the wraps, because we're still working on our hand strength with this uh, heavy of a band. Fifteen and one, almost full pull or sixteen. Whew. Whew. All right, bent rows, supinated with dark gray band. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I got tired quick. I didn't take much break in between the deadlift and that. Really tried squeeze at the top once you get that contraction. Hold that as hard as you can, just squeeze everything. And then it's that slowly come back down. Whew. All right, short break, set up. We're gonna do pronated over the top, short bar, light gray band, close grip. We're just gonna finish these out.
Oh my God. Again, same thing. Squeeze as hard as you can when you get that full contraction and hold it. Whew. Whew. All right, the next torture for today, <laughs> dark gray band, short bar, drag curls. We're just gonna burn these up and then we're gonna do the wide bar with light gray band and do standard curls. Right now we're burning up the drag curls. Oh my god. Ooh. All right, 21 of those. We're gonna set up, we're gonna do standard curls with the wide bar. All right, wide bar, leg ray band, elbows locked to the side, standard curls. Oh. Oh my god. Ah. 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 20 toes with those. Standard curl, followed by a little drag at the end. Whew. All right. Have a big break because we got legs coming up. Whew. Had to put the hoodie back on. The wind was whipping through here pretty good, and the sweat running down the back of my neck was giving me the chills. All right, so right leg, dark gray, short bar. Still rehabbing. Went and played disc golf uh, last week, and I uh, felt really good. I didn't have any twinges in there, but at this point, still don't want to overdo it yet, so we're still staying with the light gray. We'll probably stay here for a little while and just work our way up, and then we'll jump onto the black band once we feel confident again.
18. Ooh. 18 was a good push. Ooh, I can feel the fatigue setting in really good, so I so don't want to overdo it. Plus, I did that big walk earlier, so take a little break. Come back and finish off with the next leg. Ooh. All right, let's get this last set done. Slowly working his back in. Yes, baby girl. <laughs> Give me some attention now. <sighs> Whew. <sighs> Sun's starting to come up. Feels good. A little breeze out here. Chilly. And we still have more rain coming in the forecast. I looked at the at the forecast, we got like almost another week left of rain. <sighs> California's never seen this much rain. <sighs> Thank God it's not all coming at one time. It's given us a couple days break to dry out and then another atmospheric river comes rolling on in, dumping. A couple more days break and we're back at it again. But that's good, we need it, we need water. <sighs> Let's see, got my walk done. I finally got my butt out of bed this morning. Got the walk done, did the usual almost four miles. <sighs> Felt good, a little chilly, not cold. It hasn't been cold, cold, but I triple suited up just so I get a sweat going. Um, I think I need to figure some way of um, pull days, doing the, the workout first and then doing the walk. That way I'm not expending all my energy on the legs during the walk. So when it comes time to do my split squats, I'm running low. So I might start balancing back and forth, do the Pull workout first, and then do the walk on pull days, and then on push days, do the walk, and then do pushes. We'll just see right now, since it's uh, raining every other day, it seems like, and it's still cold out here. Just trying to figure out whatever, what I'm gonna do that day, where I'm gonna do it at, how I'm gonna get it done. So last week, I, I learned I learned quite a bit last week. Um, the fasting was really good. I said I got 40 plus hours of just water fast, and then I went into a a fat fast with uh, protein using the foragen. And although that's not a, a real autophagy fast, I just wanted to see how I felt with that. And I started drinking my electrolyte drink, my snake juice, which is sodium, potassium. And that made me feel 100% better. So that needs to start adding into my workouts every day. I start, start drinking that in the morning when I wake up, in the afternoon, just make up a couple of my jugs of water and just sip on those during the day so I keep myself hydrated with the electrolytes. But like I said, when the fast ended last week, I ended it in the morning and I had a little bit of sauerkraut and I had an egg on top of it and I ate it. And uh, I was feeling pretty good. And I was thinking, okay, I'll have a dinner. And then it turns out that uh, we ended up going disc golfing later that day. We were supposed to have a meeting with the club, 
but we ended up just going golfing and just talking about stuff. And uh, I didn't eat. After I ate that breakfast, I went and we played 18 holes. And by the time I finished throughout that whole day, I did the walk in the morning, I ate the breakfast, and then I fasted for the rest of the day. I wasn't eating anything. I was letting my body settle in. Went out and we played disc golf. And I think by the time we finished, I was almost at 19 miles for that whole day of walking. And on the way home, after playing disc golf, I stopped it in and out, and I had uh, six meat patties with cheese uh, at, at in and out And so that's, that was my protein for the day there. And that was actually, <laughs> that made me feel really good after eating all that. But I did, I wasn't starving, starving. I could have just went right back into another fast again. But I knew, like I said, the weekend was rolling around. I wanted to have, have a good time this weekend. So right now, the focus this week is to get myself back into ketosis. So that's gonna be strict on the carnivore, high on the fats, sauerkraut and eggs for breakfast, have some fats throughout the day, some bulletproof coffee and some bulletproof tea or whatever. And for dinner, just, just straight meat. And then see if I could get myself back into ketosis by the end of the week. So that come next week, when the wife goes back into treatment, I'm gonna go into a fast again. And this time it's just gonna be a straight autophagy type fast. No, no fats, no nothing. I just want electrolytes and water and black coffee and green tea. Basically, that's what I'll be having during that, that next fast. So, and I could already see I lost some here, which was feeling good. I could feel some here, stepped on the scales. I was down 10 pounds, but I kind of fluctuate back and forth. So it's if I can keep that off and keep doing this, keep going on. This will probably be the last big fast next week that I'll do at least for a couple, maybe a month or so. If anything, I would probably do a 24 hour fast or whatever, and before I ramp it up to a big one again. I don't wanna do two big ones, like almost a back to back. But, uh, so right now, the program is get myself back into ketosis, eating my eggs, my bacon, my sauerkraut, I love that. That's great for your intestines, for uh, the fermentation is really good for your digestion helping out a lot, really helping clean things out, making my digestion a lot better. Um, and then getting back into ketosis and then hitting the workouts as hard as I can. Uh, little, after the walk today, felt a little little, little bit drained. Not drained, but just not, not, not like really re re ready to go. So that's why I think I'm gonna switch it up on pull days. When I do legs, I'm gonna do the pulls first and then go for the walk. So ever how that looks, that's how it's gonna look. We're gonna figure that out. And then we'll do the walks and we'll do the pushes because I don't really have a problem with the pushes on the days when I do the walks first. Um, it's just <laughs> using your legs for the for the deadlift, using your legs for the pit rows, you're using your legs for all those exercises and I've already tired them out by walking. So I need to not do that. I need to spend all of my first energy on the workout and then go for the walk. So that's it. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Um, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Uh, it's gonna be raining, might, not, might be raining in the morning. We'll see whether I'm working out here, whether I'm working out over at the, the covered uh, park, or if I go to the store and work out in the, in, inside the store and then go for a walk. All I know is last time I did a walk in the rain, my boots were soaking wet all the way through. So I might just have to wear some floppy shoes in the rain that aren't gonna get my boots all soaking wet because it took almost a week for them to dry out. That's it, um, I'm feeling good. I can't wait to take this off and see what it looks like underneath. Um, I know I'm losing weight, I know I'm, Getting this down, I can actually see and I can feel that when I'm doing my drag curls. I'm not coming up over that that little blob right there. It's going down and I want to work on getting it down even more. So that's the goal. When I go to these fasts and I start thinking about food and stuff, all I think about is what's my goal. My goal is to get this down, get the love handles off and get this down. That's the goal. That's the goal. I'll get there. I'll get there. Get it done. Go live your life. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to go have me some breakfast because I am hungry.